I remember being in the emergency room a little bit. I remember the oxygen uh, they tried to force in me was like standing behind a jet airplane. And 31, 32 days later, I woke up and the season had changed from being winter to being spring. And it was a shock to my system. At the present time, there's no specific treatment for the hantavirus infection. What we do know is that if patients are recognized early and are taken to an intensive care unit, some patients may do better with this form of treatment. When I would talk to the nurses and some of the doctors, they would say that you were lucky to get him in when you did because he wasn't under a lot of distress. You got him in right before he got the full impact whereas a lot of the individuals who did die from the disease came in when they were under full distress and it was really hard for them to do anything for them. If you've been around rodents and have symptoms such as fever, muscle aches, and severe shortness of breath, be sure to tell your doctor about your exposure. This alerts your physician to look closely for any rodent-borne illness such as hantavirus disease. Because we have only recognized this disease since May of 1993, uh, we have a lot to learn about how the disease is caused and why it occurs in the lungs. If we can understand the nature of the disease process, then we can treat it better. CDC has developed a comprehensive strategy to allow us to effectively address the challenges posed by emerging infectious diseases. With respect to hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, it is critically important that people be aware of measures that they can take to minimize their risk of exposure to infected rodents.